In this section, we're going to take a look at aspect ratios and how they work out in post-production. We're going to be using Adobe Premiere, but you can use uh, whatever software you normally use. And the principles will be the same. We're going to take a look at 1080p, 4K, and 16 to 9 ratios, and how you get that widescreen from your footage. And uh, let's jump into Premiere now and see how it's done. Okay, I got Premiere Pro open. I'm going to use Premiere Pro. You can use any software that you're used to. If you don't know how to use Premiere Pro, um, we have other courses that you can follow for this. Okay, so I'm going to go to my project panel, double click. And somewhere in the resources, a project area, uh, we have some practice files that have been included. Go look for the ones that say black bars and the castle is the first thing, 1080p. So this is going to drag these guys into this area. We have a castle, it's 1080p and some black bar PNG files. Drag the castle over. This will create a sequence. So if we look around here in this area, we drag this little slider over, we can see the Castle is 1080p, it's 30 frames per second. That's what it was shot at. And then we're looking for video in input, video info. We can see the castle is 1920 by 1080. And as long as we're clicked over here, we can go to sequence, sequence settings. We can see that it's 30 frames per second. Its aspect ratio is 16 to nine, and it's 1920 by 1080. And our little preview over here is the same as the video. So that's fine. That's what we have. Now, what a lot of people do to get that uh, cinematic look. So you film this on 1080p. They'll take a letterbox or black bars picture. And they'll drag it over on top of here. And then what they have is black bars top and bottom. And when they run their video, That's what they have. Sort of an artificial way of doing that cinematic look. The problem with doing this, if we remember our other video lesson on aspect ratio. So what this means is our video aspect ratio, we know the 1080p is 16 to nine. If someone on a, a large widescreen monitor or TV looks at this, you can see here that it's gonna put black bars on the side. And then we just put artificial black bars on top and bottom as well. So what they're going to see is they're going to see this. If we have a 1080p or a 16 by nine video sequence, video clip. So if we go here, we can see it's 16 to nine. If I export this out like this um, and someone watches it on a widescreen monitor, we're going to get the bars on the side. And then we just also actually put artificial Mine's top and bottom. So just be aware of that. So let's get rid of the black bars here. Just delete them. So what would we have to do if we want to make this more widescreen so that if someone plays it on a widescreen monitor, it would, uh, it would look its best. So if we normally just output it the way it is, don't put any black bars on, on a widescreen monitor or TV, it would look like this. On a 16 by 9 TV or monitor, it would look like this. This would, this would be its full image. So just be aware of these two. So another ratio term that you'll hear a lot if you Google it is ultra wide aspect ratio. And that's a ratio of 21 to 9. So again, there's nothing wrong with exporting this out as a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Perfectly fine. But if you wanted to get you know, they call it cinematic, that that movie Hollywood image look. Um, you can export it out as a 21 to nine aspect ratio. So how would we do that? So the first thing that we want to do is go to our sequence up here, go to sequence settings. And we want to change this. So when you change these things, the width never changes. That is the width of the video. If you change this, you start getting black bars either side. So 1920 will stay the same, and we're going to put in 823. So 1920 by 823 is going to be our aspect ratio for 21 to 9. And we get the same thing down here. So if I click OK on there, make sure these 
aspect ratio pixels are set to square and say OK and then watch this box and it's going to say that it's going to change and now we have a 21 width by 9 and that will give us this cinematic look. So how do we get the numbers that we just worked out? So let's just do the math again. If we go back up to when we're in here we can go to sequence and sequence settings again. We can see our numbers here. So we drag them over here. We have 1920 by 823. Well, our aspect ratio that we were trying to achieve was 21 to 9. So the math is 1920 divided by the 21 gives us 9143. Then we take 9143 times the 9, and that gives us the 823 for our vertical image. And that's how we get this image here. So going back to our, so what does all this mean? We now took our image and stretched it out to a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So if someone has a normal TV at 16 to 9 and they play that back, it's going to look like this. If they play it on an ultra wide TV or monitor, it's going to fill the screen. Because that's the aspect ratio that we did. Now let's do the same thing for a 4K. So just double click again. Let's go to where your practice files are. There's a file called Roman. Say OK, it will load it into here. Just drag it over. This will make a sequence. And we can look at the information again about this. If we go to sequence, sequence settings, it's 3840 by 2160. So it's a 16 to 9 aspect ratio again. It's 24 frames per second. And our preview over here is set at 1920 by 1080 so that's still 16 to 9 so that's fine so now we want to do the same thing so we go back to sequence settings open open it up we want to make this a 21 to 9 or ultra wide aspect ratio so let's do the math again so we have 3840 divided by 21 of the 21 to 9 that gives us 183 take the 183 times 9 and that gives us 1645 and just say OK. Now, what we have here on Windows in Adobe Premiere, I don't think it happens on the Mac. This iframe only MPEG won't change the preview window to match this. So we have to change it down to GoPro Cineform. And when I do this, you'll see now that 3840 by 1645 matches the preview over here. Now watch this as I hit this OK. And it's going to tell us that it changes will be made to the preview. And we have our ultra wide 4K 21 by 9 aspect ratio with our 4K footage. Again, our footage is 4K, so it has higher resolution, but it's 21 to 9 is the aspect ratio we just made. So on a ultra wide monitor, it would look like this. On a normal monitor of 16 to 9, it would look like this and have naturally black bars top and bottom. So on 4K footage, you do have a little bit of play or wiggle room. You can move the Y direction. You can't move in this direction because it's exactly where it should be. But in Y, you can just change it. You've got to be careful if you come then too far. You're creating black bars, but you can change your, you know, your view or your context here. Just maybe I want it to land there, or I might want those clouds to be a bit more in the, in the frame. So 4K is done at 21 to 9, just like that as well. Don't worry about all the math right now. At the end of this, we'll have a summary screen up for you. So there's some other aspect ratios that you need to know about. The ultra, they're all ultra wide. So we've been looking at 21 to 9 aspect ratio. That's also ultra wide. And if you're using an app like Filmic Pro, there's two others that you'll see when you go to resolutions. One is 2.76 to 1, and the other one is 2.39 to 1. So keep in mind too, and don't get confused by all this, but 
2.39 and there's another one that gets thrown out there all the time is 2.35 they're all ultra wide aspect ratios so we're going to jump into adobe premiere and just take a look at what they look like in this aspect ratio so you can get familiar with it let's jump in so inside of filmic pro if we go to resolution 16 to 9 is normal but you'll see here there's 2.76 to 1 that's what this looks like and if we go back to the cogwheel to resolution, there's another one you'll see is 2.39 to 1. Both widescreen. And this is what this looks like. Look at the black bars on the top and the bottom. Let's jump into Premiere now. So if we're in Premiere, we have a normal 4K 16 to 9 video clip. This is what it looks like. And if we go to the sequence and do settings, we can see it's 380 by 2160. And it looks like this. So everything is normal. This 2.39 or 2.35 is very similar. We can drag these in. And this is what it would look like in this same aspect ratio here. So we're in the 4K setting sequence. If I drag the other 2.39, this is what it's going to have. It's going to naturally have black bars. And it's a lot wider because this is the 2.39 by 1. And if you look over at the actual um, clip itself and go to video info, it has 3840 by 1606. This is the dimensions of the 239 to 1 ratio. We have one more that you can film, which is the 2.76 to 1. So I come over here. That's what it's going to look like in a normal television. So it's going to normally have a lot bigger black bars. And if we look at the 2.76, we can see that's 3840 by 1392. Now, if we get rid of all these, delete them from here. And if I drag that 2.76 over into this timeline, I'm going to change the sequence settings to uh, this, this clip that we just put in. So this is what the ratio looks like for 2.76 to 1. If we want to see what that is, we go up to Sequence, Sequence Settings, and we can see that it's 3840 by 1392. It's exactly what the dimensions are down here, but we set up the timeline to match this. So this would give us a widescreen look. And if you put this on a widescreen monitor or television, an ultra wide one, this would give us a full image looking like that. So remember, this is what that film Ben-Hur was uh, filmed in, very ultra-wide. It takes a normal 35mm film size and doubled it. So it's very, very wide, and this is extreme. We go back and drag a normal 4K clip in here, and then we're going to say, change this. This is what a normal 16 to 9, 3840 by 2160 clip looks like. If I would drag that 235 into here, and I keep the existing settings, you can see that this is what 2.39 to 1, so it's widescreen, this is what it would look like on a normal television. But if you put it on a ultra-wide monitor, it would look like this. So on an ultra-wide monitor, it would look like this because the sequence settings are set to 3840 by 1606. We can check that once more, 3840 by 1606. So that's hopefully given you an idea of the different aspect ratios and how you get a normal uh, HD film sequence to a 4K sequence to an ultra-wide aspect ratio.